It's like... It's like death. That's what it's like. It's like death. Hi guys, Alice here. So I've set up my DSLR in my office. I know it's kind of dim in here, but I'm going to see if I can somehow get some face cam action going in here. I'm going to be trying out a new game called Squirreltopia. Uh, one of my friends, Heppel, just gave this to me. I'll give you a link to his channel below. He was giving it a shot and wanted to give me a try. Uh, this is definitely a game that's meant for a controller, but I'm going to try to do it with my keyboard. Um, I love the little squirrely facts. So we've got play easy, which is checkpoints on, time trial off, and play hard, which is checkpoints off, time trial on. I'm definitely going to do the easy one first. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> Steal all the things. All the things. Oh, I'm a cute little purple squirrel. Let me through. Okay. Hello, phone. So, whoa. Wow. So when you start running, there's like serious momentum. That's crazy. Okay. So I'm a cute little purple squirrely thingy. Okay. And press enter. So this is our first level. Can I jump on those bubbles? Oh, I can. Okay. So this game definitely first death. It definitely feels like it's meant to be speed run. So let's go ahead. Oh my god, this is so hard! <laughs> so that is probably a checkpoint. I see an acorn. Nope. Not how that works. Oh, you don't have to jump on it at all, but you also shouldn't jump into bombs. Come on, pink squirrel, you can do it! You can do it! You can, you can fail. So much fail. Woo! All right, achievement unlocked, nature's finest. Um, apparently you get an achievement for frustrating yourself until you get an acorn. Let's do this. Let's do this. We can do this can't do this. Okay. So it definitely seems like the momentum works in your favor for the most part. And we already finished a level, so there are 50 levels to this game, and it seems like they're all going to be relatively short. I probably don't want to walk into the thing that looks like bombs. And I'm not really sure... Let's see what the bombs do. Oh, so they're timed. I probably don't want to walk into random things. And those look like nice spinny spikes there. There's like a computer, or actually, it almost looks like an NES cartridge down there. I wonder if I get enough run speed going. Can I, can I jump down there? The answer is no. You know, we fought for that acorn, and we're just, we're, we're not going to fight for that that cartridge, because I don't even know what it's for. Jump all the things, jump all the things! Oh god! It's okay. We've got this- ah! We don't got this. So they've said that this is a hardcore platformer, and I'm definitely starting to understand why. There's um, a lot of twitch movement going on. It's like, it's like death. That's what it's like. It's like death. This is like old school platformers on crack. So I'd really like to blame the fact that I'm not using a controller for this, but the fact of the matter is I think I'm just so out of practice with platformers that I'm just not, I'm not in it. But a lot of the indie games that I recently picked up are platformers, so... There's some hope, right? One thing I definitely notice is the faster you go, the easier this game feels. Which is ridiculous, as I die. If I pass this level, I'm going to be so proud of myself. That, that takes skill. That death in particular, 
that that takes a lot of skill. This is the most frustrated I've ever been by what should be an easy game. Ugh. They say, you know, hardcore platformer, and I go, yeah, whatever. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Yes! I passed it! I'm not sure how I passed it, but I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna run with it. Alright, guys, uh, we did the first two levels. That's about as much as I'm willing to do today, because I don't want to get frustrated. The controls are a little difficult to wrap your mind around, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, the momentum's a little rough to get used to, but I think if you're somebody who enjoys like speed running, old platformers, this could be a lot of fun for you. Not my cup of tea. I'm not a real big platformer person. Obviously, I'm not very good at them. I haven't been since I was a kid. But I think I'm going to play this a little more off camera and see how it goes. This is a Steam game, so I will leave the info below on how you can find it. And, um, Squirrel! Yeah! Yeah. As always, it would make my day if you guys wanted to hit the subscribe button, keep hanging out with me here. I've got a whole bunch of indie games like this to go through, as well as our normal series. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!